you razzle dazzle wonder bunder stratosphere breaking stellar galactic coach you yes you and i'm telling you your coaching yeah i i just I've, I've run out of words i just started i've run out of words your coaching is is so beautiful so powerful you may or may not know it but i am here to help you grow with little bits of insights discoveries powerful tools and things that i get when i'm working with coaches just like you and 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 i wanted to share something with you today because i don't know if you know this but as a coach you can do amazing things with time. Now, you can actually, you can, you can time travel, you can, you can adjust time, you can speed up time, you can slow down time, you can do all these things, incredible things with time, and you can actually separate time. You can stop time. You can do so much with time. Now, there's so many different ways we can do this in our coaching, and I'm gonna share one with you that you may or may not, or you may not or may be aware of. So we're gonna look at this a little bit differently because there's many different ways that I can talk about this, but here's one that popped up. I was working with a client who uh, started talking about, they said, I know I have these saboteur mindsets and I know that, I mean, I got this, this saboteur, critic, gremlin, whatever you want to call it, that keeps telling me I don't deserve and I'm not good enough. And, and I've got, you know, and, and boy, when I try to challenge that, it, it just keeps finding like, oh, remember the time when. I mean, this is a common conversation. Saboteur takes a specific element, specific event, takes a specific part of that specific event and makes it everything. Remember that time 15 years ago when you did this and then that, and this happened, whether or not it was actually your fault, whether or not it really happened that way, it's how we perceived it, it's what we made about it, and something clicked and stuck. And here is where the saboteur messes up time because the saboteur takes this one little thing and then collapses all of time from the moment you were born to this moment to the moment you die into this one moment and says well this is how it was this is how it is this is how it will be forever and ever and ever and ever and ever that's it game over story done that is what the saboteur does. when you hear that happen when you hear that, that, that instant collapsing of time and that complete diluting and, 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 and sort of just fuzzing out the client's entire past, their entire past gets erased and kind of shoved aside and dismissed and consolidated into this one or maybe a few or whatever moments, moments, very selective remembering. Well, the rest of your entire life has no bearing, no importance, no meaning whatsoever. Your one few moments Maybe it's recurring moments. Maybe it was a hundred moments out of a thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, million. I want to just hit you with a little bit of math here. A 30-year-old person, 30 years old, 30. Now, if you're younger, obviously subtract. If you're older, obviously add more. 30-year-old person has been on this planet for us a mil, is it a million, a billion, a billion seconds a billion seconds a billion moments moments might be longer shorter but let's just go with the uh, the simple easy uh, transfer a billion a billion moments in your life if you were a 30 year old person and out of that you are holding so tightly to those, I, I mean, I'll be generous, 100, 
maybe 200, maybe five, maybe, let's go maybe a thousand mess ups or failures or, or, or things stumbled or a mistake. I'm going to say out of that a thousand, I'll even be generous, 10,000, 10,000 messes and mistakes and failures and bad things out of a billion moments. That's pathetic that you're, that that's all you're holding on to. I, I'm not being mean. I'm just kind of kicking it in a little bit. Really? Out of that, I mean, that's still one off the top of my head, one ten hundred thousandth of your life. Really? And now let's be really more honest, because that saboteur really remembers only a few, maybe five, maybe ten, maybe maybe only one. No, I, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. The saboteur's job, it serves a, an important function to an extent. The saboteur's job is to protect you, to keep you from safe, to keep you safe, to keep you from danger. And so it spots a danger and says, holy smokes, this was a danger, or it might have been a danger, and it could have been a danger, or it should have been a danger, but it wasn't a danger. But, it, but there's something that has to do with danger in your past, and therefore we don't want to do that again. And obviously we don't. But let's look at this a little more intelligently and rationally, because that one, two, five, ten instances that, that certainly elicit danger, doesn't ought doesn't automatically dissolve the rest of your past your accomplishments your your strengths your good moments all the beautiful things you've created and engaged and connected and experienced don't swap that all out that's all valuable beautiful information so don't let just those small little minuscule percentage of your life outweigh and dismiss the massive overload of magnificence that you have already lived through. Also, that saboteur takes those things that happened earlier today, yesterday, last week, last month, last year, 10 years ago, 20, 30 years ago, when you were a completely different person, or a, a teen, or a child, your relationships were different, your life was completely different, but yet still, this is the same. So that moment of the past still defines you according to this voice, which is not true at all. First off, physiologically, I'm, I might be a little off on this, but apparently your entire body regenerates its entire self in, I believe, a seven-year period. What you see here, every single cell on my skin, every single cell on my bones and in my organs and the hair and all that stuff, all of this will be replaced with something that looks pretty close to it, seven years older. But physiologically, scientifically, every single cell in my body will be replaced by new cells. Same is true with you. So let's just look at that. And you, your brain, your heart, your body, your spirit, everything is constantly stretching, growing, discovering. Of course you make mistakes. Of course we make mistakes. And, and we will make mistakes. And sometimes we make the same mistakes over and over again. And we have to learn from those mistakes. That's the difference. That you have been adapting and adjusting and learning. You are not the same person you were way back when. And yet your saboteur makes the simple assumption that what you were and what happened and all that was was stuff is how it is now. You just collapsed time. Past is now present. And it gets worse because that saboteur also 
completely collapses your entire life from this moment on to the moment you die. And now you always will be. Wow. What a way to completely negate and devalue and erase your purpose and your humanity and your power and your gift and your purpose in this world. That is the tragedy. That's what we do. Our saboteur takes and erases time and makes this one little moment that might have even been made up, takes this one moment in the past, makes it now, makes it future, makes it all time. <gasps> wow. And by the way, erases the rest of your life sacrificing the one few small moments. I'm not dismissing they didn't happen. I'm not saying that they don't have impact and meaning. Of course they do. But let's be really intentional and powerful about how those moments are actually controlling our lives, your life. And that's all that the saboteur does, is it reduces you and your life from the birth to death to the simple, basic, primary, and very negative, small, hiding moments. Now, that's not what coaching is, obviously. And in coaching, part of what we get to do is we get to go to that deeper, that that inner power, that richness. See, that's why I start these call these 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 videos. Every single one of them, I'm talking not to the small pathetic idiot loser moron coach who failed this and who blew that and who doesn't deserve this. And by the way, did not now and certainly never will. I'm not talking to that coach. I'm talking to the most powerful, amazing, majestic, razzle dazzle stratosphere-breaking, planet-absorbing, life-giving, solar flare coach that you are. Because that coach sees and accepts all time. It doesn't reduce time down to one moment. It expands all the time of your life. That coach, that inner you, that powerful you, gets to look back at your whole past, including those hard moments. The saboteur just looks at only those hard moments and dismisses everything else. That powerful you sees those hard moments, doesn't dismiss them, embraces them. They're part of what make you, you. They're hard lessons, they're painful, they're mistakes you don't wanna repeat. There are things you don't want to have happen again. Obviously, you learn, you grow from that. You prepare, you get stronger. That is why you are the you you are today, is because of those moments. And that powerful you knows that. That powerful you spreads out your entire life so that you can actually really see the richness of every single moment, every single billion minus or plus moments of your life. How you were is not who you are now. It contributes. It's a part of it. It brings that in. It informs. It, 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 it's a stepping stone, but it's not who you are now. You are not who you were before. You're a new version. You're upgraded. You're 2.0, 3.0, 10.0, 100 million point oh, a billion point oh. You are new every single day. You are something new than you were before. And it expands and opens up your entire future because how you were is not how you are and it is definitely not at all who you will be. Who you will be is not determined yet. And it starts now. It's not defined now who you will be. You define now 
who you are. Not who you were defines who you are. Who you are and who you say you are. And that sets the pace for who you will become. You get to be anything, anything, because your future, however long, however short, is filled with more and more and more, and maybe a billion, give or take, more moments. Some of them hard, some of them painful, some of them we don't want, but that's part of your life. So instead of collapsing and reducing your entire life down to a few small little moments that happened way back when, if they did, open up and see the richness and the fullness of your whole life and all the billions and billions of moments that make you the most wonderful, amazing, incredible, delicious, and magical you. I hope this has inspired you because, by the way, I'm not just talking about you. Of course I am, but I'm also talking about every single one of your clients. And if you stand in your magnificence, you will see them and all of their magnificence, even if they fight you tooth and nail to prove how much they are reduced to those small and minor, minuscule, barely significant moments. You get to remind them of the richness and the value of their lives. You get to stretch out and reveal their whole rich lives. That is what gets to happen in your coaching. I hope this has inspired you because I'll tell you, I'm a little pumped on this. I can't wait for my next call. So contact me if you have any questions. Email, call. I'm happy to help you. And there's more coming. Keep coming back. And until then, I wish you the most amazing, beautiful, richly filled, magical moments coaching.